What's up everybody? It's DJ back. Next day here. Spent the day yesterday cleaning up as you saw. So you remember that catwalk that was out there? Didn't know what to do with? Well, I posted it on Facebook Marketplace literally yesterday and a guy not too far away came and picked it up. So that's one thing off the list. Sounds like the guy's gonna use it for a bridge over a crick crossing, which is exactly what we thought people would want it for. We don't need it, we don't have a use for it. Great deal for somebody else, so that is awesome. Today is gonna be like 70 degrees out. I mean, that is amazing. It's December like 15th, but with that, it's gonna be really windy. So thinking about pulling the combine up, start washing it, but washing when it's windy out is not fun at all. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna completely get this shop cleaned up and organized because we need to pull the 9430 in here and fix the injectors on that. And we need to pull a 4020 in here. Look at this. What's, what's in there, Blaze? Blaze, what's in there? Did you get anything? Did you get anything? No, we ate it all. Yeah, that's the plan, so let's see. Oh, it's a mess. I always start with trash. Get trash thrown away and burned. That way, I mean, you look at this bench, there's a bunch of just trash packages, wrappers, bottles, food, et cetera, et cetera. And just all this trash is sitting around. That's the first thing that we always, a word of advice, get rid of the trash. After the trash, usually I go for tools, you know, supplies, lubricants, whatever else we had out. And finally, you ended up with stuff you're like, you're like, I don't know what to do with this. And you make the decision. Do you keep it? Do you throw it? Does it need to be somewhere else? Does it need to be in a different building? Is it a project coming up? It needs to be just put on the side. So that's where we're gonna start. Let's get some trash taken care of. Pyro style. A little change in plans in the truck, taking a load over to the ethanol plant. Sounds like this afternoon is gonna be really windy. So I don't really know that I'm gonna come back. Just like that, we're out of here. This place is nice, quick, and easy. See you back home. Sounds like the Racho 2.0 might be coming through. Just been tidying up some things that might blow away. I guess hope for the best. Bins are full this time, so we should be all right. There's Devin. He's just now getting home from doing some trucking. Oh, I just pray that, you know, it's not as bad as last time. Hope we don't lose any buildings or houses or green bins, but cross fingers. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Overhead bin is full, right? Now. Right now. Come on! It's full now. All right, until this place doesn't blow down. Holy I got the bench somewhat cleaned off, got this bench cleaned off, started sorting through some things, just don't really know what to do with it, but we'll get it, we'll get it taken care of. It's all for today, I'm gonna go home and shelter ourselves. By the time this video's up, any kind of damage will already be done. It's next day here, didn't do much filming earlier today because to be quite frankly honest, I was cleaning the shop out and I was in and out, moving stuff around, all different angles. It would have been pretty difficult to get a good capture of what was going on. Right now, it's about 4.30 p.m. Earlier today, I was loading trucks. Glenn and our hired truck driver, Tracy, were hauling corn like animals. It was just enough to keep them going. So I got about hour increments to get some work done. So in my cleaning findings, I found a fuel hose that I think might work on high rollers leaky P fuel hose. Let's go see if we can get that done. Looks like it should go right on. 
Well, I tried. I'm gonna need a pipe wrench and a leverage bar. We'll be back. Leverage is key. Hey, there we go. slightly loose. Tighten them up. Nothing's leaking. Hose looks really good. Nothing's leaking. Automatic shutoff works. It's longer than the old one. Set to go. Perfect. Fixing a seal on a trailer. I'm doing a diver here. I'm gonna call him Smurf. <laughs> yeah. Blue towels. Badger Smurf. Clean that up. We'll get out of there for a week. Put some oil in. Watch down on the little glass. Oh, that is nice. You see it. See it coming Ooh. down in there. That's fancy. Put the cute little plug in there. Since you're a manual tarp guy, that means you can only use ratchets and no electric impacts. How do you feel about that one? Well, there's certain things that you don't go old, old school on. Now this here, probably to torque the, the nuts down, but I felt how much how tight they come off. By the way, love the manual tarp after day four with it. Here's the shop. The benches, a couple other items to clean up. But see this right here, wouldn't be possible. Send a boy to do a man's job. Oh. I just found the new needle. Oh, you know what's funny? Air equalizer for the trailer. I think I put that up there earlier. It was up top. All this. <laughs> No, 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 no. All this wouldn't be parked here. You saw how it was before. It's all cleaned up for the most part. A couple items got to put away yet. A couple items got to throw away, get rid of, because they're junk and... Like what? Honey badger's a what hoarder. What are we going to throw away? Honey badger's a hoarder. One battery charger. We're going to get it fixed. <laughs> Blue trucks in here. It's not that close. See you in the funnies. Lights out. Do a little nighttime shenanigans here at the Man Family Farms. We got that 250 hooked up to 4020 no clutch. This has been a project on hiatus for year number. Oh, I'm embarrassed to say. At least three. When you push the clutch pedal in, it's like. There's just like nothing there. I feel like a linkage is broke because apparently before we got it, the words were they just put a clutch in it not that long ago. Finally, we are getting it to the shop so we can figure out what's wrong with it. What is going on here? 4020s don't need forklifts to pull them. <laughs> she is in the shop. Yes, sir. Finally. Master Mechanic Bucky's ready to do some Master Mechanic things. So our first attempt is just to see if this clutch pedals come loose. If that's all it is, then this tractor's been sitting for like four years. We're gonna find out. In the meantime, Badge pulled up the double lot to the shop for a 10,000 mile oil change. Sawdust is oil dry. Any takers? We're gonna find out. Peterbilt, Toyota, John Deere, JCB. Might as well call us Rainbow Farms. What What did you just say? Yeah. Yeah. Red, yellow. Oh, we need, well, we got some red ones. Let's see if this thing starts. She's pretty cold. Come on, messy. Oh, yikes. Nope. 
We'll try again tomorrow. Congratulations, DJ driver. Proof's in the pudding, it's not all make-believe. <laughs>